All right, and Drew, here we go. Uh, I just want to do a quick tutorial, although I already have many tutorials on my uh, YouTube channel, and they're all the same. All the button layouts are the same, with the exception of one cabinet. So let's do a quick tutorial, okay? This video is probably going to be, you know, 10, 10 minutes or so. So we have our pinball buttons on the side. You have your volume port right here. You just turn it on. You can turn it up. It's got pretty nice speakers in there. Okay, you have your power button. Forgive the dust, I'll clean this up here before they come pick it up. That's the power button. Now, when you turn, when you press the, when you first come home, obviously everything will be off, right? Uh, you're just gonna press that button and you'll see all the LEDs pop up. Those LEDs are wired into your uh, power supply. What's not wired into the power supply is your TV. Okay, now the IR control is right over here. It's in the right hand side of the screen. As you can see with the volume, I'm gonna turn that all the way down because you're not gonna use that volume. So just turn your TV on, that's all you need to do. Press the power button, turn your TV on. Okay, and then uh, also, when it comes to you, it'll be assembled, but you're most likely going to need to take this bolt off and the other adjacent bolt over there and pop this off. Now everything is labeled very nice and neatly for you. So I'll just unplug these, make sure you're holding when you pull it apart, you know, hold, hold those two uh, uh, plastic end pieces so you don't pull the wire out. And then just plug them up. One, one, two, two, USB. Go to the USB port underneath here, your iPack. You know, we have them all labeled for you. Four, four, three, three, trackball, and spinner. You have a little, we're going to tape this little Allen wrench down. That's for your spinner to uh, tighten it or loosen it so you can uh, put your steering wheel on. So once you take all these wires out, you can just dump them in the hole and there's a wire cleanup really close to the top of this. So everything will kind of be hanging there in a loop, uh, in a, you know, in a bundle. And then just take that and feed it back through and plug them in. And you should be good to go. Now real quick, let's kind of talk about the, the, the control panel. Think about this like a normal game, right? You have a one player, two player, three player, and four player. And then the joystick in the middle it's technically a four-way joystick, but it, those are linked together, right? So you can move up or up, and they, move, they, they do the same thing. Those buttons in the middle uh, can act as your uh, mouse buttons. Then, of course, you have your spinner. Now, up top, we have the corresponding button tree, you know, your, your coin and, and your player one and player two start. So we have uh, player one start. Obviously, it's right above, it's right above your, your player one. Okay, so you have player one start, player one coin, player three start, player three coin. Let's move over here. We have player two start, player two coin. You have player uh, four start and player four coin. And then these four, those two buttons and these two buttons here in the middle, I call them the control buttons. Escape, exit, will exit out of almost every single game, except I think Pinball FX3. And then you have start, that's not actually start, it's actually enter on your keyboard. You're only gonna use that for a few things. And then you have tab, um, this is for your arcade games only, so you can go in and make some configuration changes, and then you have pause. Okay, so that's the button layout. Now I'm going to kind of show you the wheel. Uh, I'm going to pause it and let my wife uh, hold the camera. You have a USB port underneath here that has four ports inside. Okay, you have an internet card plugged in right there. I do recommend taking that out until you uh, need me or Chris, the guy that makes the drives, to log on and help you with something. Okay, so now I'm gonna pause it and kind of walk you through the wheel real quick. And real quick, something else I wanna show you. Some of the games, man, are better played on, you know, on an Xbox uh, controller. So you can use an Xbox 360 controller. I've never tried an Xbox One, and they can be wired or they can be wireless. Uh, they should be, in theory, uh, they should be plug and play. But I know if I was playing PlayStation, some of the buttons don't match up, but, but still uh, super playable, um, and you can configure all that stuff in the PlayStation emulator if you'd like. Um, okay, so let me just go ahead and pause this, and then we'll talk about the wheel. Okay, so now we're going to kind of talk about your, um, we're going to kind of talk about how the wheel works, okay? So let's just real quick, remember there is so much on the five. I definitely recommend kind of cleaning it up a little bit. Uh, sometimes I do, but I didn't, wasn't sure what you liked and didn't like, but you can uh, eliminate lots of these wheels. Okay, so let's start with, we have, let's put a little music on. Okay, 
So we have these things called banners. Now the banner, it only stays on for a few seconds, right? But when you want to go into a wheel, you simply press player one start, the player one man button, okay? And that will take you in. Now you can't do that with this because it's a banner, right? But the banners are labels to help us navigate the whole wheel because I think there's over a hundred wheels on here. So this is arcade. So that means everything underneath this is an arcade game. Okay, so we have all these different arcade games, arcades, until we get to, now you have gun games on here, so if you want to grab a gun, you can put your light bar up here, and you're gonna, you're gonna need to find a way to filter it back inside there to get back inside your cabinet. You have trackball games, we're still in arcades. Okay, and then you come up to a new banner. Again, you try to press it, and it's a pinball banner, so it won't let you go anywhere. But that means everything in between pinball and arcade is an arcade game. Everything under pinball, you guessed it, it's a pinball. Pinball FX3, X, Pinball FX2, um, and then we're gonna get into um, the collection wheels. Okay, so this is a banner here. Okay, it's a collection wheel. These are all collections. So when you go in the Street Fighter hacks, uh, in theory, again, you press player one start, that will get you in, and then it's got uh, different Street Fighter hacks that are in there. Okay, so let's skip through the, all these collections. There's a lot. You can definitely clean those up a bit. And then you're gonna to come to the consoles. Everything underneath here is a console. All right, so you have PAX, Super Nintendo, Super Nintendo CD. I mean, see, there's, it, this is overkill. Nintendo, Nintendo Hack, Wii, GameCube, all these. And then you're gonna go oh, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2. Then you're gonna go down to the handhelds. Okay, you have a handheld banner, and then it will finally take you back around. Oh, so I'm sorry. Then you have some PC stuff. Okay, so you have a P PC. So you have some fighting games, stuff like that. Now, when you're coming to play some of the PC stuff, just remember, I don't make the drives. Legally, I have nothing to do with the drives. Your drive came from Hyper Arcade Systems. So if you need some help, you can uh, log on to their Discord. They got a whole community. They got a whole Facebook community in here. What I went in and done for you is uh, I've tested out your arcade games, your pinball games, uh, uh, a few PlayStation games, and then like Nintendo and Super Nintendo. Okay, there's 50,000 games on here. Obviously, I can't test them all for you. Uh, you may need to do a little research when it comes to the five terabyte. That's kind of why I standard offer a one terabyte from Hyper Arcade Systems because it doesn't include the fancy stuff. Um, but nonetheless, it's really cool, man. Okay, um, but you're gonna have to do some configuring when you get into a PC game, right? You may need to configure the graphics. You may need to configure the controls. Some of them will let you use this, and others will, uh, require you to use your your joysticks. Uh, I mean, your uh, a controller. Okay. All right. So let's go to to the arcade games and, and start there. So Mame is your main emulator. Okay. This has all the arcade games inside. When you press the button, there's a small lag. It's Windows, it's not your processor, it's not the PC, okay? Now we have all the games inside. Once you're inside here, you can hold your joystick to the right or to the left and pop up letters. Press player one start again. Your main three buttons you're going to use pretty much the whole time is player one start, the coin button, and the exit button, okay? I accidentally just pressed player one start. Pressing player one start will get you into a wheel and start a game. Okay, now once you're inside your game, um, then you pop some coins in and you start playing. Now when you wanna get out of a game, you're gonna press the exit button. Pretty simple. Let's let this game boot up real fast. This game is taking too long. But we put some coins in. Okay, and then we get our game started. That's a Chinese game, so let's get out of this one. We hit exit, and it will take you right back to where you were. Okay, so real quick, we know how to get in a wheel, pressing player one start. We know how to get into a game, pressing player one start. We know how to coin a game, pressing player one coin. We know how to exit a game, pressing the exit button. It's the same thing across all, whether it's Nintendo, Super Nintendo, it doesn't matter, it's the same thing. We know we can move our joystick to the right or to the left and go to a letter, but we also have a favorites button. So it's button one, two, three, four, button number five. We'll go into our favorites. Now I can add a favorite or remove a favorite. Remember, my main button will always be player one start, okay? 90% of the time, that's like your enter button, right? It's not really enter, it's actually number one on your keyboard, but I can remove something from my favorites or I can go to my favorites. Now we've already put a bunch in here, asteroids, 
uh, X-Men, all that type of stuff. So, want to go into something? You press player one start. I find the first load takes a long time like the other one, and then after that they all load really quickly. Okay, then when you want, I press some coins, I press start. Now when you're inside a game, you do your gas. Okay, so our spinner is not hooked up yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press tab. This pops up this menu here. When you're in this menu, um, you're, the only time I ever really know that you're going to use this says start, it's enter on your keyboard, is for this screen right here. It's a configuration menu. So if I go in here and I go into player one controls, these are all the controls for all of me. Now there's a little arrow down here and it keeps going. It's got your trackball, your spinners, uh, your wheels, your light guns, all that stuff would be set up in here, right? If I go in reverse, I can see all my light guns here. Now I showed you that to show you this. When you go to input this, it's just this one game. So if you want to make a change, it's pretty simple, right? So we want to change our, let's see, is it the paddle or the pedal? I believe it's the paddle. Okay, so now let's just see if that worked real fast. I should be able to get out. And now I can turn my wheel. Okay, now you can pop this wheel off and you can put your steering wheel on. But again, when I'm inside here, it's really simple. Press player one start, and then you saw what happens, right? Those arrows pop up, and now the next thing you touch becomes that button. Now, let's say you, let's say you did the wrong thing, right? I pressed up on my keyboard. Well, unfortunately, this will let you do two or three different things, okay? You just press delete, make it say none, do it again, and you're good to go, okay? That's how you make changes. If you need any more help on that, that's me all day long. I can log on and help you out. But you are super smart, so I know, uh, and a little tech savvy, so I know you can probably get that figured out. So that's how we do our configurations. Now I exit out of the game, and I'm back in where I started. I was in my favorites. If I want to back out of a wheel, press the coin button. Takes me back out. Start gets me in a wheel, coin gets me out of a wheel. Okay, so it looks complicated, but it's really not that complicated. Now all your arcade games work great. Um, your pinball games work pretty good too. Let's go to Pinball FX3 real quick. Press start. Now it's weird because this is looking for the internet even though the internet shouldn't be on. I coincidentally have your internet card plugged in right now. So it connects kind of fast. But when your internet card is not connected, it's gonna hunt for a connection. Just let it do its thing. It takes 10, 15, 20 seconds. And then um, we'll see what pops up here. Don't click retry if you see that, just click whatever the other option is. So just click cancel, okay? And it takes me right into the game. Now, this is, a, this is your plunger, okay? All the pinball controls are universal, okay? So my, my joystick down is my plunger. My pinball, I mean, this is also my plunger. Uh, player one button one is, is my left flipper and player one button three is my right flipper. Okay, so I can hold it down, let it roll, and then I can do my two outside here and you can also do the outsides over here. Okay, now when you want to get out, move your mouse around, hit exit, go down to exit single player, it won't exit out the right way, you have to walk it out like a computer game, so just keep walking it out. Keep walking it out up here, press power, exit, okay, and then you're out of your game, okay? So that's how we do the pinballs. Now, the controls are the same across Pinball FX2, Arcade Pinball, and Visual Pinball. You're going to run in across a few tables in Visual Pinball and maybe Arcade Pinball that won't let you play. Uh, you know, if you want to download another ROM and try that out, you can. I I'm not really going to mess with it because if I did, I'd be doing it all day long. So that's how we get into stuff like that. Now when you're getting into a console game, essentially it's the exact same thing. Okay, you get into Nintendo. I'm gonna go to my favorites. Okay, player one start. Now you notice there's a small lag. Just, I mean, it's, it's a lag when you're getting in the wheel and out of the wheel. There's nothing that you can do about it. Just wait till the screen starts moving and you'll be good to go. Press player one start. Now, when it comes to the PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2, 
Notice how this loads really fast. I don't know why PlayStation 1 takes 15 to 30 seconds to load. So it looks like something's not happening. Okay, now when you're in a game, when you're in a, an arcade game, it's simple. The buttons always flow in order. So if you're playing Galaga, the shoot button will always be button one. Okay, it will never be button six. When you're playing a console game, just gotta figure, figure out the button tree because they're all set a little different. Now coincidentally, uh, we know on our, on our controller, there will be a start, a select, and an A and a B. So my start and select will never be player three or four or two. It will always be player one. So my coin is my select. Can you pause that please? Okay, so again, my uh, select button will be my coin. My start button will be player one start. Now, coincidentally enough, I'm pretty sure A and B is button one and two. When you want to get out, exit. Now, real quick, I just want to show you one thing. I'm going to press my coin button to back out of that wheel. I just want to show you that playing PlayStation. I'm just going to pick a random game that I haven't played before. And let's see how long it takes to load. Now I pressed it. Now remember, this, these are mapped to your, to your keyboards. These are computer controls. So you don't want to be button mashing or wait. We can get with Chris or you can get in the Discord and ask why, this, why these take so long. It might be the emulator. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but it definitely takes a quick second. Uh, to load. Some games load way faster than others, but again, I don't make the emulations. Uh, let's see what happens here, if it, if it even loads at all. Okay, see, it just takes a long time to load. I have no idea why. Again, it is certainly not the computer. It is the emulation. Okay, but it is loading. That's the beauty. Once you're in here, my wife uh, and my kid played a bunch of them the other day. Uh, they, they definitely play decent. Now, your best friend is going to be knowing how to work your system when it glitches. Alt and tab, holding down alt allows me to flip through what's open. Okay, so if I wanted to get out of something that froze, as long as I'm holding down alt, I can just go out right here and I can exit this way. Right, so if I wanted to exit, boom. So that's almost like control alt delete, but it's a shortcut. Now your worst case scenario, you know, you got to control alt delete. Um, and that's how you kind of had to work that. So you'll, you'll figure the quirks out as you go. Cause again, there's 50,000 games, 50 different programs making it all work. But for the most part, everything works pretty good except the load time on that. So that's pretty much all I got for you, man. So we know how to get in a wheel, pressing player one start. We know how to get out of a wheel, pressing the coin button. We know how to get into a game, pressing player one start. We know how to exit a game, pressing the exit button. We know how to use our plunger for all of our pinball games. We know how to pause, we know how to tab. We know all the stuff that we really need to know to make it all work. So man, I hope you have a freaking awesome time with your game. We had a phenomenal time building it. It was a lot of fun. Uh, excited for you, man. So happy gaming.